Hey, what's up Aquamigos? So today we are going to go and buy some of the supplies that I need for the pond build. And we're going to start with the stuff that I need for the DIY pond filter build. I made a design of the filter in last week's video and this is what it's going to look like. Also guys, I just got this new Seachem water conditioner. A couple of you guys on Instagram have told me that this works really well, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Right now, let's go ahead and grab our supplies. It's like super windy out here. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. So the battery in the van was dead, so we gotta take my car. Hopefully I'll be able to fit everything in here. And also, I'm recording this on my GoPro. Let me know how it looks and how it sounds down in the comments below. All right guys, we're here. Let's see if I can get what I need. Guys, I can't believe I just fit this 10 foot pipe inside my car. I mean, it goes up all the way almost to the windshield and through the trunk, but I mean, that's crazy. A 10 foot pipe in my car, who would have known? Let's see how much I spent. $159. So I was saying in one of my other videos that I would be pretty happy if I could complete this DIY pond build for about $2,000. It might be a little more difficult to build it for that price than I thought it would be. So I guess I should explain exactly what I got. So I have the two 32 gallon brute trash cans, which will serve as the housing of my pond filter. I have this 10 foot three inch in diameter ABS pipe. ABS is similar to PVC, except it's not built to withstand pressure and I actually decided that I would make some changes to my pond filter design. I'm not going to use the four inch pipe, I'm only going to use the three inch pipe. I decided that it wasn't really necessary or practical to have to buy another huge pipe like this just for such a small part of the filter. So aside from the one inch pipe that I'm going to have going into the pond filter, the rest of the pond filter is just going to be using this three inch pipe. And then inside here, I realized that I was going to need some T fittings. So this is the one for for the three inch pipe and then this is the one for the one inch pipe and then of course I have the elbow for the three inch pipe I already have enough elbows for the one inch pipe I'm probably just going to reuse these ones that I have over here and I'm also going to reuse some of these PVC pipes that I used to build this thing a while ago and a quick hello to the fish so I actually really wanted to build the trash can filter in today's video, but I had to order the uniseals online and the uniseals aren't going to be here until like next week. And I also need to buy a wheelbarrow. I found this one on the Ace Hardware website that I liked. So let's just go ahead and add to cart. And I also need a four inch hole saw for my three inch uniseal. So some of you might know that I like to talk about numbers. I like to share how much this kind of stuff costs to do. So this is how much money I've spent for my DIY pond build so far. So today at Lowe's, I spent $159.11 on that stuff that I showed you earlier. I ordered that wheelbarrow from the Ace Hardware store. That cost $65.69. I actually have to go over there to pick it up. I did like the in-store pickup thing. I ordered that hole saw from Amazon, including tax, that was $14.79. And then I had to order the uniseals for the trash can filter. I did that a couple days ago and I kind of messed up. I had to like order another one separately and I paid for shipping twice. Totally my fault. So I spent $39.64 on the uniseals. It should have only costed me $26.36 but like I said I messed up. 
So my total that I've spent so far is $279.23. And I do have some other significant expenses coming up for this build, such as the pond liner and all the rocks that I'm going to need. And now I'm in the middle of a water change on the 15 gallon right here. Just filling it back up. That's the old water and I used the new Seachem Prime. And I checked my parameters just to make sure and everything looked good except I had really high nitrates. That's why I did like a, a water change. And since this tank is completely empty, I got all my other guppies out of here and into the 20 gallon. I wanna go ahead and add some of my mosaic guppies. And in case you're new here, um, I used to just have like mutt guppies in here. They were like fancy guppy, endler hybrids and I didn't want them to mix with my mosaic guppies because I didn't want to dilute that strain. So once this is filled up, I want to go ahead and get a couple mosaic guppies in here. We'll take a couple out of my indoor guppy pond and put them into that 15 gallon. guys it's the next morning we're gonna go to ace hardware and i'm gonna pick up the wheelbarrow that i ordered yesterday So I had a very interesting turn of events, guys. Uh, the wheelbarrow wouldn't actually fit in my car, and there's actually a very nice lady that I met at the hardware store who offered to drive the wheelbarrow to my house in her car because she has like a big SUV. So yeah, she's actually driving behind me right now, and uh, she's gonna help me bring the wheelbarrow to my house. All right, guys, so here's the wheelbarrow. So hopefully my uniseals will come in within the next couple of days and we can do the pond filter build in next week's video, put everything together. And that's gonna be just about it for this video, guys. If you guys did like this video, I'd really appreciate it. If you went down there and gave this video a like, that would help me out so much. If you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you.